Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another video here on Greeno Eats. Now today I have travelled up to Oxfordshire, we're kind of in the Cotswolds really I guess, and in this beautiful countryside location, isn't it fabulous? Now what am I doing up here? Well, I'm on a bit of a grand tour, I'm looking for some food that you might consider as being top gear, and hopefully I'm not going to have to be a millionaire to be able to afford it. Have you got it from those clues? I'm at Diddley Squat. Yeah, that's the home of Clarkson's Farm, which is owned by Jeremy Clarkson, of course. Now, this is the setting for a TV show, which I think features on Amazon Prime. Full disclosure, I've not seen the show myself, so you'll have to look out in the background in case anyone famous off the telly is on there, because I won't recognise them. <laughs> but I've heard there's a place in here, it's called Based, where they are knocking out some cracking food using a lot of the produce from the farm itself and other farms in the surrounding area. And I've got a bit of a hunger on. Now I've arri arrived here at just after 11 o'clock on a weekday. It's not in the school holidays or anything and it's already full up. I've had to abandon the car down the road a little bit. So we're gonna have to have a little stroll in and see if we can get some good grub if the queues aren't too long. Let's go. Now, before I get too far into this video, just one little thing I wanted to talk about. Now, I'm actually up here on June the 6th filming this, and it's the 80th anniversary today of D-Day. And I just wanted to pay tribute to both of my grandfathers who served in the British military during the Second World War, Grandad Bill and Grandad Ernie. Uh, both, sadly, no longer with us, but they did live to a ripe old age, both into their 90s. And Grandad Ernie actually was involved in the D-Day landings operation itself as an 18 year old boy can you imagine blimey you must have been awful but yeah without them i wouldn't be here today would i so thank you grandads Right, so I've placed my order now. I've gone for a sausage sandwich, which comes in at £7.50, and one of their Big View burgers, which is £14. It's a bit strong for a burger, isn't it? But we'll see if it's any good or not. Hopefully, lots of nice local produce in there, and it should be a really tasty affair. Plenty of people around here already having a nice beer or whatever. It's quite a nice day, I guess. Um, it's about half past 11 now by the time I've queued up for the food and paid. Basically what they do, they operate a system here where you order at a bar area, they give you one of these little buzzers, and when your food is ready, you go and pick it up from the little uh, kind of burger van type place that they are cooking it in. So a decent little system, keeps people moving. Hopefully, it's gonna fill my belly up, because I am blooming starving. <laughs> Okay, right, it's so busy here, I can't even find a table to sit at to eat, so I'm kind of leaning against a rock that's got diddly squat written on it, and uh, <laughs> it's gonna have to do for now. So, it took no time at all for that to be ready. I probably queued for about 10 minutes to get the order in. Once the order was in, no more than five minutes later, my buzzer's going off. So, pretty efficient. Like I say, it's pretty busy here. I guess it's busier at weekends and in holidays and stuff than it is now, but, yeah, they're working really efficiently to get things done. So, have a little look at this sausage sandwich first of all. So there we are, we've got a nice kind of brioche bun, with two lovely looking meaty pork sausages in there. I've added brown sauce, because of course, brown sauce is the only sauce for a sausage sandwich, isn't it? So, let's get this picked up and give it a go. You'll have to excuse the camera work a little bit here, because I'm holding it in one hand and eating with the other. 
So here is the sausage sandwich. Like I say, two lovely sausages cut in half. So you get that nice kind of crispy bit in the middle as well. Mm. Do you know what? They are delicious sausages. Like I say, the, the roll is kind of like a soft brioche type roll. And it seems to be holding up quite well, structurally. Sometimes they kind of crumble and fall apart a little bit. It's been toasted. So it has a little bit of texture in the middle too. But the star of the show is those sausages. They're so meaty. It's just a pork sausage. I don't think there's anything else in there. Mm. What you might call a breakfast sausage, I suppose. But they're really well cooked, really tasty. Overall, that is a very, very good sausage sandwich. Right, guys, so the sausage sandwich was a success. Let's have a little look at this burger now, shall we? So this is served in exactly the same roll that the sausage sandwich was in. We've got a nice, thick-looking burger patty there. There's cheese, some caramelised onion, a bit of lettuce, and underneath we've got some gherkin, a bit of tomato, and some burger sauce. Again, you can see a nice toasting there on the roll. Now, I think this is going to be a bit of a messier affair than the sausage sandwich was, because there's loads of burger sauce in this. This is 14 quid, mind, this burger, just on its own, not with any chips or anything. So I'm expecting something a little bit special. Double the price, pretty much, of the sausage sandwich, basically because you've got a bit of salad and some sauce in it. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Come on, be tasty. Do you know what? It is. That burger sauce is really, really nice. Kind of creamy. But with a little hint of something almost like Thousand Islandy, that kind of flavour. The salad in there is lovely and fresh. Mm. The one thing I will say, because there's so much going on in the burger, it's hard to really discern how tasty the patty is by itself. The sauce is the predominant flavour. I mean, it's definitely a messy one. I've got juices running all the way up my arm at the moment. <laughs> I just hit that caramelised onion. That's really tasty. Mm. Do you know what? Overall, it is a very, very tasty thing. But I don't think the burger itself is the star of the show. It's that sauce, it's the caramelised onions, and it's the salad. But I tell you what, I'm definitely enjoying it. Is it a 14 pound burger? I don't know, I still think that's a bit strong. But it's definitely tasty. Right, so here we have the back of the farm shop. There is a queue around the front of it too. And then this queue, Comes all the way along here and all the way down along that grass verge. These people must be queuing for an hour or more to get into a farm shop. Now around here, I bet there are loads of them. It's just because this one's Jeremy Clarkson's, right? Go and visit a different one. <laughs> right, just going to hop in my motor to drive home. <laughs> I wish. Greeno Eats budget doesn't quite stretch to McLaren's. Right, so this is the front of the farm shop here. As you can see, there's a queuing system going on here, kind of like airport style, back and forwards. And then the line is all the way back over there. Well over an hour to queue to get into a farm shop. Absolutely ludicrous.
Okay, so I have eaten my lunch here at the Diddley Squat Farm Shop. I haven't actually made it into the shop itself though. The queue is just far too long. Do you know what? There are lots of other farm shops in this area. Why not go and support one of them? Now I understand, not having seen the program, I don't quite know what the attraction is. Um, I spoke to my father about it actually, he's a big fan. And he was telling me that he's doing a lot to kind of promote <laughs> what farming's all about, the pressures of it, the costs of it, and how we should be doing more to support our local farmers. And I agree wholeheartedly with that. So if you can afford it, make sure you do support your local farmers. Do you need to come here with the Jeremy Clarkson name plastered everywhere to do that? I don't think so. Anyway, let me get on to the, uh, the food I ate. So I had the sausage sandwich and the uh, Big View burger. Now the sausage sandwich was absolutely delicious. Really nice, kind of springy roll, really good. The sausages were exceptional. Really nice, meaty sausages, cooked well, and I had brown sauce on there. That was a really, really tasty thing, £7.50. The burger was a tasty burger. Like I say, the patty was kind of a little bit lost because there was so much else going on but every other individual element was really tasty. The salad was nice and fresh and crisp. The burger sauce was delicious. The little caramelized onions, really sweet and very nice. It was a very, very enjoyable burger. Was it a 14 quid burger with no chips or anything with it? I don't think so. I could have ordered a portion of fries for a fiver. No point if I'm already having two sandwiches, is it? <laughs> Can't go mad. But um, yeah, I think possibly I mean, when you compare the sausage seven and a half quid and the burger 14, was that burger worth twice the amount the sausage sandwich was? I don't think so. Two of the sausage baps would have done rather than a burger. All right, folks, as you can see behind me, everyone's lining up to get their photos taken in front of the diddly squat sign. And that's gonna be it from me, from this little trip up here to Oxfordshire, to Clarkson's farm. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, click a thumbs up on there for me. It does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and you like what you've seen, why not consider clicking the subscribe button, ding your little bell for notifications, and that way you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. And don't forget, if you're able to, support your local farmers, support your local farm shops. It doesn't have to have a celebrity endorsement to have good food, and it might be a little bit cheaper, and you definitely won't have to queue for an hour and a half to get in. So get out there and support your local community. That's it from me. Bye for now. <laughs>